Welcome back to part two of To Catch a Cavendish, a Thora silent blade tale. Thora shook off the panic and clambered down to the dusty road below. The sun was getting lower, but was still up, meaning Thora was not late yet. There weren't many folks around in the streets, but it wasn't hard to find an inn that promised ale, whiskey, and ale and whiskey. Just what Thora could use, right about now. The feel of the dust spinning up into the air with each step was an odd feeling. After weeks seeing the lush forests and dales of rhyme, this town felt dry and lifeless. At the same time, a reminder of home. However, Thor wasn't here for the sightseeing. Pushing through the swinging doors, Thor was directed to the meeting room in the back by a fluffy tabaxi bartender who seemed to be serving some creature with a large shell and a peg leg. Thor hadn't seen such a creature before, but it looked tough. The room in the back was filled with chairs and would-be adventurers milling about, all waiting to hear more about this adventuring permit and the promises of great riches. Returning to the bar, Thor dropped a gold piece for ale and some news. The feline bartender seemed nervous about something and was babbling about Cavendish folks who were pushing for something. Thor had only been half listening, for there was something about the bartender's speech pattern that seemed hard to follow. Was the name Crumbs? Crumps? Thor decided to not bother with using a name, made sure to thank the tabaxi for the ale, and picked up the generous pony keg with both hands. An elderly gnome sat at the back of the room with a large grin over his face. The perfect place to sit and share some drink. Sliding into a nearby seat, Thor offered the gnome a mug and poured one out for each of them. It had been a long ride, and while the liquid did burn going down so quickly, Thor knew the numbing effects could eventually take the edge off from the soreness of the ride and the harshness of dreams. Thor's gnome drinking companion was a talker, and like many of the others in the room, was eagerly looking forward to a chance to go off on a great adventure. Thora understood that feeling all too well, thinking back to that moment in the Sakaar Mountains with the pack and a decision. Glancing about the room, Thora noticed several humans of various ages. A talkative kobold was likely the most out of place in the room, but the drummer with dragon scales definitely made it a strong second running. Of course, there was that creature with the shell as well. Sizing up the warriors in the room, Thor decided that the elf in the hood was likely the one to watch. The elf reminded Thora of one of the members of the Grey Ghosts who favored a short bow and always told stories of elven warriors of the forest, though the dwarf himself had never left the mountains of Sakaar to meet one. 